Good morning, Jamie. Good morning. Today I'm talking about the Graveyard Riddle, which is by Lisa Thompson. And I just want to read a little bit of the summary because it just tells it so clearly and concisely. Melody Bird has discovered an abandoned old building in the corner of the graveyard. Are you intrigued? Yes. Already, of course. Though it's dark and creepy, she can't resist its pull. When she goes to explore, she finds a mysterious boy hiding out there. How? Hal tells Melody that he's a spy using the house as a base for his undercover surveillance of a nearby suspected criminal. He's very secretive about the details, but Melody comes to trust him and starts helping him with his mission. Hmm. So that's the main plot. Okay. It's a mystery. Good. And there were key words that certainly got my attention, you know, like um, old build, abandoned old building and mysterious boy and Yes, and even in the title, Graveyard Riddle. Yeah. But the subplot is about Melody dealing with changes. Mm -hmm. And the key word is dealing, as in by the end of the story, she's figuring out how to take agency and handle these changes, mm -hmm. such as there's a possibility that they might be moving, her and her mom. Mm -hmm. Also, her friendship with Matthew, who's her neighbor, has definitely changed. She suddenly started hanging out with Jake, who had always been the classroom bully. Hmm. So you see all kinds of going hmm. things going on. But there are twists and surprises in this book. I gotta tell you, it's one you've gotta read to the end because you wouldn't believe hmm. where you start at and where you end at. Or so it, you just, you can't believe it. Cool. All right, and it sounds like a good one for the fall graveyards Halloween exactly all right and I have one small hop um, by Madeline Rosenberg and this is a great sci-fi kind of novel um, it's set in the future at a point where we have absolutely wrecked the climate so badly on this earth that we have engineered these kind of giant domes over areas that people live in enter one real frog and the um the boys um and actually this girl too um have to figure out how they're going to save frogs they've decided they they do some work on the internet and they find there's another frog in canada and i think they live in maybe in vermont definitely in new england and they decide they're going to take this frog and get it to that frog for mating. Um, it's really a fun story. You'll be cheering at the end, and um, it's just fun to think about um, taking taking charge of our planet one tiny frog at a time. I love that. So.